Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. During the recent Russia-Ukraine conflict, we have seen Russia heavily relying on its unguided bombs. The unguided munitions lack the precision which causes heavy collateral damage which limits Russian Air Force capability to provide close air support for their forces. Therefore, in absence of guided munitions and standoff bombs, the Russian Air Force are flying low for bombing, making them an easy target for Ukrainian manpads air-to-air -air launched missiles. Therefore, the guided munitions or the unguided bombs which are much cheaper becomes very much important in modern day warfare where bombing is required with precision from a long standoff distance. Now, in today's video, we will be discussing in detail about the long-range standoff weapon delivery capabilities of LCA Tejas. So as we know that Indian Air Force is converting its air dropped unguided bombs into a precision bomb which can be dropped from a range of 80 km with the help of American JDAM or Joint Direct Attack Munition. It is a tail guidance kit that converts the unguided free fall bombs into accurate adverse weather smart munition with the addition of new tail section that contains an inertial navigation system and a GPS guidance control unit, JDAM improves the accuracy of unguided general purpose bombs into a guided and accurate bomb. It uses 500,000 or 2,000 pound warhead as the payload. Once released from aircraft, the JDAM autonomously navigates to the designated target coordinates. The target coordinates can be loaded into aircraft before takeoff manually altered by air crew before weapon release or automatically entered through target designation with onboard aircraft sensor. In its most accurate mode, the JDAM system provides the circular air probability of 5 meters or less during free flight when GPS data is available. If GPS data is denied, the JDAM can achieve 30 meters of circular air probability or less. The first fleet of fighters that will be equipped with JDAM in India will be LCA Tejas. Next standoff weapon is Hammer or Highly Agile Modular Munition Extended Range which is a medium range air to ground weapon. It is the standard standoff missile for Rafale fighter jets with Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force had acquired nearly 200 plus Hammer missiles. Last year, the Indian Air Force has placed additional order for Hammer for light combat aircraft Tejas which would allow it to take out any hardened bunkers or ground targets at a standoff ranges of more than 70 km. Now as per the latest update, HL has successfully been able to integrate Hammer missile with Tejas. The test of Hammer missiles from LC Tejas will be followed by the test of JDAM and DRDO's SAW. The missile has two versions based on a type of guidance system which is being used. First version is a hybrid inertial or GPS in decameter all weather version and second one has hybrid inertial or GPS plus infrared homing or SALH in metric day or night version. It can carry 250 kgs of warhead. The hammer would give India the capability to take out any bunkers or hardened shelters in any type of terrain including mountainous locations such as eastern Ladakh. The integration of hammer missile on Tejas will provide capability to the fighter to carry out the Balakot type air strike. The next weapon is SAW or Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon which is a lightweight and long range precision guidance anti-airfield weapon. The standoff weapon has engagement range of 100 km and is capable of destroying enemy airfields, radars, bunkers, taxi trucks, runways and full depot. It is equipped with 80 kg of high penetration come blast warhead which can create huge craters on the runway. It can be fired from Su-30 MKI, Hawkeye, Jaguar and would be soon integrated with LCA Tejas. Once integrated, LCA Tejas can carry at least 10 saw on 4 of its pylons on either side and 2 on its belly. The Griffin Laser Guided Bomb is another ammunition which LCA Tejas can carry at present. It is a laser guided bomb system made by Israel Aerospace Industries. It is an add-on kit similar to JDAM which can be used to convert an unguided bomb into a laser guided smart bombs with the option of GPS guidance. 
LC Tejas has been flying with Griffin laser guided bomb and Rafael's lightning pod. Beside Griffin laser guided bomb, LC Tejas can also carry 1000 pound, 500 pound general purpose bombs, 450 kg and 250 kg HSLD bombs. It will also be integrated with 1000 kg long range bombs built indigenously such as Gaurav with a range of 50 km to 150 km. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.